for the Israelites to assemble themselves together. What we always tell y'all? Shabbat Yasha Allah. Assemble yourselves. Come to the Shabbat Allah. We're going to come to the congregation to hear what? The law and the testimony. So back then the Israelites were assembling themselves together and came unto Mecca over against Jerusalem. Well, Massa was a place where they prayed a four time in Israel. So we had a place over there where we gathered. And because of all the stuff that was going on, like we're doing now. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads. You ever heard of Ash Wednesday? That's where the white man get Ash Wednesday from. You see the people walking around and put that spot on their head. They got that from us. We did that to humble ourselves to the most high. Do what it says here. And put ashes, sat for them, and cast ashes upon their, in their heads. And wrap their clothes. That came from us. So these fake denominational churches bore the ash and the humbling of ourselves from us and called it Ash Wednesday. That's where they got that from. And they opened the books of the what? What is this? The law. The book of the law. They opened up the Bible and laid it open where the heathen had sought to what? Paint the likeness of their energy. <laughs> Who was in the land of Jerusalem at that time? Alexander's descendants and his generals, the Greeks. The Ptolemy took Egypt, the Lucius and all the rest of them took the other parts of the east and they formed the Greek Empire. This is the first recorded incident when they took the images of their people and put them into the Bible. Open up the Bible today. Who do you see in there? Don't you see this guy in here like this? Mm -hmm. Huh? Don't you see Caesar Village in the Bible now? He got on a purple and blue robe, and there he is. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing going on here. So he said in Isaiah 44, they were going to do it. Isaiah 44, verse 9. You know what it says here? In verse 9, Isaiah 44, 9. And their delectable things shall not profit. What they set up in the Catholic Church and the Jewish Judaism schools is not going to get them at all. Christmas is vain. Mark 7 and 7. New Year's is vain. Halloween is a witchcraft thing that they celebrate the gargoyles and the demons. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay? So all of these things that you got out here are evil. And they are uh, their own witnesses. So when you see these so-called whites, you see Caesar Borgia? They made that stuff up themselves, people. These are not the witnesses that are most high in the hall by Shemar Shah. The Israelites are the true witnesses. See what it says here? They see not, nor know. And they may be, they may be ashamed. Who has formed a God of a multi graven image that is profitable for nothing? They made this guy into a God. Behold, all the fellows shall be ashamed, the workmen that are. Uh, they are of men. What man? The man that you see here <laughs> Don't get this book called The Life and Time of Sarah And in this book, you know what you want to know what Caesar the Borgia is right now? Here he is, right here. On page 184, it says the modern grand cross of Caesar as Captain General of the Nazarene Army beside the Church of Santa Maria in Vienna in which he was buried. <laughs> now I'll blow it up for y'all so y'all can see it on the TV a little bit more. So you can see who this guy is. Here you go right here. This picture and this bus 
that you see right here? This is Caesar Boyer. This stands in Vienna in Europe right now. That's the church that Caesar used to go to. You see this church right here? The damn thing is still standing, people. You get on an airplane and go to Europe, this thing is still over there in Europe. Look on his grave up here. You see these white people? They made this up. The Awasha is in the heavens with the Most High. He's not in a grave on the planet Earth. This is what they came and lied to our people about. That little sister, Latusia Voyager, that's Matthew Belly, the Prince, that little father, Rodrigo, who's a corrupt ass priest, and that little Pope Julius II, the Renaissance Pope, the one that brought our people death and destruction after the arrival of Columbus, the Spanish, the French, and the British. And what did they do? They came in with their armies and slaughtered over 70 million North American Indians from North, Central, and South America and the islands of the sea. And they established this core called America. This is what they did, and this is who our people call Jesus Christ. They brought another book right here. I need to get these God books. What? Say what? Caesar and Ecclesia Borgia, brother and sister of history's most uh, verified family, Samantha Morris. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're telling on themselves. They're saying these people were corrupt. He had sex with this woman, you know. That was it. That, they were illegitimate children, so they, they could have had sex. Mm -hmm. They were adopted by Pope Alexander VI of Rome. It was a time of bastards. Why do you think these damn white people left their damn children all over the planet Earth and put their damn seed in our women? Because they started the age of bastards during the time of the Renaissance. And they were the ones that came with these horrid so-called celebrations and other allergies in their time. And the Medici family and the Pope Stephen Rowe. They go a guy right here. Pope Nicholas II. This is what he said in this book by Sarah Black. It's called The Life of Times of Caesar Borgia on page 8, paragraph 1. It says, Golden Pope of the Renaissance, Pope Nicholas V. See this guy right here? They started the Renaissance with the Medici family. After the Council of Trent in 1452. This is when they started bringing out the sun service that came from Babylon. They built this damn whorehouse called the Roman Catholic Church. This is where the Spaniards, the French, and the British launched their invasion of the Americas. And they came here and told our people by the sword that the white man was God. Didn't they do that, guys? You damn right. You may go talk to the Aboriginal people of our nation, like Zebulon and, and uh, Ephraim and Vanessa and Dad. They were here. They'll tell you, man. This man came here and killed up all the people. And unto this very day, you are subject unto their wicked power structure. See what it says here? Told the Cardinals on his deathbed that he knew that the faith of the masses to be fragile because the people lack instruction. What were they doing? Their people did not know the Bible. This came from their wicked ass kings and their priests, like Julius II. He's the Lord, the Pope, and the Medici family. They all got a, 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 a conspiracy. To what? To deceive the world. Here you go right here. Therefore, it was important to consolidate their faith by the spectacle of a material grandeur. In other words, they built this damn church. They called for all them pagan festivals. You saw the festivals they had for Easter over there in the Roman church. Millions of people come from around the world. How many people go to New York doing so-called Christmas? All them damn, you can't even walk down there. I wanted to go speak down there against that damn tree. They got guards down there. They got barricades down there. They don't want you to go in there and ruin their money because they're doing it for the money. 
Mm -hmm. So during that time of the year, you can't even go down there and see. They got the whole street blocked off. So in the Roman church, they bring everybody to these wicked ceremonies from around the world. And they celebrate the devil. Mm -hmm. And the idols. Mm -hmm. Nicholas V was born in 1447 to 55. Sexus VII, 1471-84, and later Julius II, 1503 to 13. These people were born. You see this guy right here? Pope Julius II. That's the one that was the Pope of the Renaissance. They got together, and what did they do? Conceived their ambitious reconstruction of Rome as a resurrection of the Imperial City and the outward symbol of the Pope's empire as the successors both to Peter and Constantine. Who was Peter and Constantine? We read it earlier. They were Abrahamites in the Byzantine part of the Eastern Roman Empire. They were black Israelites holding mm -hmm. on to the faith of Bashasha and the rest of the Bible. These devils came in at that time and overthrew us after the Ottoman Turks overthrew Constantinople. This is what you call the Renaissance. The revival of the Roman Empire on the planet Earth. And this is what we got going on in our neighborhoods. You see the neighborhood churches? What the neighborhood churches got all this stuff in there right now? They still got the white man's teachings in there, don't they? This is why we look like this. You see? This is why the Israelites don't know who they are. They've been instructed more, and they've been taught that the Lord, the Havishah, looks like these people right here. Get wisdom, but get understanding, people. These people are not the most high people. These are bastards. They are blasphemous. Matthew Bell is the prince. And they put his images all over the place. And you go to these damn churches, you see a big picture of Caesar Borgia go down to Brazil. And I'm out of the areas on the earth, right? <laughs> this is what you see all over the planet. <laughs> what is this at? Is this not in Brazil? Mm -hmm. Go down there to Brazil. Who is that? That's the same damn man on a damn dead temple over there in, Savannah, in, 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 uh, in Europe. Vienna. Yeah. That's Caesar Borgia right there. Caesar Borgia over there in, in, in Vienna. Caesar Borgia, Caesar Borgia. All images of the damn beast and the Roman Catholic Church. Who were them two artists? Let's read about the artists. Let's read about the artists. This is the sign of chapter 14. Don't forget these artists because they're the ones that drew those pictures. Verse 18. Also the sinners of diligence or the artificial help to set forward the ignorance to more superstition. Y'all hear that? Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Go do your research on these guys. Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci drew these pictures at the Last Supper. They put these images in our people's minds and spread this garbage all over where? The whole planet Earth. This is going to tell you right here. <clears throat> Verse 19. For he does the virtue willing to be placed in one in authority, forced to steal to make the resemblance of the best fashion. And so the multitude of the Lord, by the grace of the work, took him now for God which little before was honored as a man. <laughs> what was Caesar known in, in, in Europe? He was an army man. Mm -hmm. He was a cop. And now everybody talking about when you saw black people, especially a black woman, that's a black woman who that is. That's Jesus. No, no, that's Caesar. And it says, and this was an occasion to deceive the what? The world. This man went all over the planet Earth. He deceived the Polynesians or the Japanese people. He got churches in China. He got churches in Africa. He got churches in Europe. 
We got churches that are mad, and what are they doing? That's the man. That's a bad damn reason. And parents come from among them, my people. Revelation chapter 18. So you will not be partakers, partakers of their sins, and you shall not receive the wrath of the Lord upon you. Come from among these churches, people. Repent and believe in the gospel. Receive the word for men serving either calamity or tyranny. Get ascribed unto the stones and stacks and the imponderable name. So this is where we are today. Islam popped up. They made their God. We got caught up in all of this stuff. So the Arabic world, the so-called hermetic world, and the European world sold us from the west coast of Africa. Now there's still some of our people over there right now. On the west coast of Africa, like Ghana, all the way over there to certain areas. Liberia, or Israelites over there. So when the time comes, if, this is a big if, if the Lord will, they're going to come to the schools and learn. Because mm -hmm. the Most High calls you into this, man. We can know our people are scattered abroad, but the Most High is going to elect the elect to go to the elect that's supposed to be pulled up out of here and fished out of here. Mm -hmm. They're going to come. And when they come, they're going to learn the ways mm -hmm. of salvation. And the only way you're going to learn that is by doing this. Because everybody go to my favorite scripture. Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. What do you say there, people? Serve yourselves in righteousness and reap in mercy. Break up your fellow ground, people. Meaning, stop playing around, man. You know why the Lord said you stop playing around? Because we're in the last minutes of the last day. Mm -hmm. Oh. Go to my favorite scripture. Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. What do you say there, people? Serve yourselves in righteousness and reap in mercy. Break up your fellow ground, people. Meaning, stop playing around, man. You know why the Lord said you stop playing around? Because we're in the last minutes of the last days. For the time to seek the hallow, until he come and rain righteousness upon you. This is what time we live in there, people. Come to the base, plant out on the mountain, compel them to come in. In the name of Yahweh, by Hashem Shasha, we come to you and tell you to repent according to Mark chapter 1, verse 14 and 13. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem. For the day of the hour is at hand. Roll the trumpet, Joel chapter 2. The day of the Lord is that The brothers and sisters who are tuned in today, may the most high be my shaka, bless you all. Shalawa ma, la wa hawa, meaning peace be on you. In the name of the Herald, by the Shem, by Shasha, be strong and look up for your destruction, God's back. Shalawa.